Bismillah. Assalamu alaikum. Okay, borehole. I want to explain um, a sustainable way of drilling for water in the Gambia. Okay, um, this is a borehole. Borehole in the Gambia is about uh, four to six inches wide. Okay, um, it's a hole in the ground obviously to, to access the groundwater um, here is the tool that they're using okay um, and you can see the hole here that they created and they're pouring water in the hole the method is called percussion drilling or um, Baptiste method it was it was developed by a Baptist missionary okay um, and it's simple. You need a crew of about six to eight people. Okay, uh, it's not sophisticated knowledge or um, equipment. Um, the, the tool consists. You can't see it that well here, but this is a. Um, let me see if. Oh, I'm not catching it. Anyway, let me back it up. Okay, let me try this. So anyway, this is a tip. You'll see it look better in detail later. This is a tip that's made out of hardened steel. Okay. And this is casing here has a check valve. And you'll see him making an up and down movement with this pole here. This pole is galvanized steel attached to this casing or check valve. Okay. And here's your hole filling with water so the water mixes with the dirt and creates a uh, a very muddy um, liquid that travels up and in, into the pipe it can't come back out because there's a check valve it stops it the weight of the water closes the check valve so that the water can't escape okay so um, have a look Okay, so I think that pole is about 10 feet long. See, there's a liquid coming out. So, um, initially, it's just him. Okay, and then you get some help there. But this thing's gonna, you know, they gotta go deeper. They're gonna add more pipe. The more pipe you add on, it's gonna carry more liquid and mud, so it's gonna get heavier. So now they're gonna add on more pieces. See, they went about eight feet. They're gonna add on another piece. They're gonna hook a rope around that thing. The man is twirling around there. That can be made in a welding shop. Everything's made in a welding shop. Go get your pipe, pipes, parts, and get, go to the welder. Okay, um. So they're putting the, another extension on there. Okay, and then they'll connect it to a rope and a pulley up above. And then there's guys behind them pulling on that. See them? You'll see them a little bit. Pouring more liquid in there. Get it going again. Now one thing they say you don't want to stop. <laughs> you know, there's a, if you do stop, you have to put in. You have to take your drill out. That's what it was. You have to take the drill out, take it completely out, so it doesn't get stuck. Okay, so more is coming out. Okay, they're pulling, pulling, pulling. That's it. I mean, in a good day, this is how it goes. No problems. Um, it's, this is only meant for uh, areas without boulders, big big rocks. Okay, so I think it might be ideal for the Gambia. Um, yeah, that's it. Let me show you the the valve or the drill bit. Let's see. 
next video. There it is. Okay, I'll show you the parts. There they are. Okay, so these are the parts. Start at the bottom. That's your hardened steel tip. It's made out of leaf spring steel. A leaf spring. It's um, what your car axle rides on. All right. Sustainable. Okay, a bolt. Those are, I'm sure that's common anywhere. And a coupling, couple of couplings, and a reducer. Plumbing parts. Some rebar steel. Okay. Um, not too complicated. You know, just need a welder to put it put it together. You know, a good welder. What it, the tools that a welder would have is, is sufficient to build this. So there's your hardened steel tip and the bolt here. That bolt's running through here. Stops probably right here. And that's where your check valve mechanism is in here. So liquid comes up in and out. Can't go back out because of the check valve. Oh, here's your little pieces of steel. And that's for keep it from sticking in the mud okay because um, the mud this getting pounded into the mud will get stuck you know and then trying to pull it out there's like this suction so this breaks up the suction okay so in a rural area where there's not a lot of money uh, people don't have thousands of dollars to put in a borehole something like this all you need is a couple of people would that have some experience you know with the other six or, or four people um, willing to do some hard work you know it's labor intensive okay and you know I'm, I'm looking and I'm I'm hoping that I can do this in about a day and a half to two days sure the first time will take longer than that but uh, you know after a few attempts I hope I can you know, knock the time down all right that's it